You definitely can't win games with a cold bat. Harp, some of the reasons we've been seeing the continued offensive struggles for the Mets. Yeah, there's something's got to change here. You know, early in the year, you know, they were getting all the clutch hits, two outs, two, uh, two strikes, all those type of things, and you wondered if it could continue, and it hasn't. It's fall they were even, you know, with early in the year, they weren't, they were, they were ranked low in the hard hitting percentage. That, too, was an analytical stat that people said maybe this won't last, and all these things have piled up. They don't hit enough home runs to make up for it when they're a little bit cold, so they're going to have to figure it out. That, uh, you know, they added Vogel back. He wouldn't, couldn't help them tonight against the lefty. Uh, you know, you, I think you got to add another bat, maybe a Mancini, somebody like that, to be a platoon, maybe a platoon situation, because J.D. Davis isn't getting it done as a DH. Uh, they got to figure it out because this is really hey, the Braves are half game out now. You know, it's uh, it's time to figure this out. The pressure is on and look Hawk, Those numbers are eye opening over the last month for the New York Mets. They've been a dreadful offensive baseball team. There's no sugar in it and Blake Snell hasn't exactly been lighting the world on fire with the San Diego Padres and the at bats which is not good enough for the Mets. And look, if they're going to hold off the Atlanta Braves, they got to hit for more power. You think about the beginning of the year. This is a team that wasn't striking out. They were putting the ball in play. They were making things happen. But there's been a little bit of a market correction here. The advanced stats that the Mets were spitting in the face of, now you've seen it go the other way. And I had a major problem with Buck tonight. I love him. I think he's one of the best managers in the game. I know he's playing a hunch. He's got an all-star in the bench in McNeil. He's letting Tomas Nito and his 580 or 610 OPS hit with the game on the line in the ninth inning. I don't care how bad McNeil has been over the last month. I got an all-star on the bench. He's got a hit there in the ninth inning, and I get it. Buck was playing all these hunches at the beginning of the year. They worked out great. McNeil, Jason, he's got a hit there in the ninth inning. You're right. Buck did play some of these things early on, and they worked for him. But uh, I think what he what he saw here was Nito. He's playing the numbers. Nito, 400 runners in scoring position, two outs. That's a great stat. He has been clutch for them. But come on, he's not the same hitter in, in the same class as McNeil. And McNeil's got good stats with runners in scoring position as well. So I know Buck's thinking, uh, pulling one out of his hat there with Nito, but you got to give McNeil that at bat. I know the hunch was what Buck was playing, but we have to be excited, at least what we saw to Bassett tonight. Career high night, 11 games. He was absolutely fantastic. And let's be honest, if it wasn't for a blown call by the umpire in that Manny Machado at bat, we might be talking about Chris Bassett throwing a shutout against the San Diego Padres. He deserved a lot better in this start. I thought he was terrific, the way he's changing speeds, Harp, the way he's missing bats. They need that version of Chris Bassett if they're going to hold off the Atlanta Braves. You notice that continues to be a theme, Harp, yeah. holding off the yeah. Atlanta Braves. Oh. <laughs> you know at some point you get in the ground back. Scherzer is going to be Scherzer. But when you think about Taiwan Walker and the way he fell off the cliff last year, I want to have a little insurance there, and I think you may have it with Bassett. Yeah, well, I mean, this is it's funny because the Padres remember in San Diego. Oh, they the killed him. Kill, that's where he was sitting there saying, I've never been through this before. I'm kind of lost. He's figured it out. And, and look, he did get – that. he should have been – he should have – Machado should have been struck out there. But you, that doesn't give him the right to hang the, hang the slider there either. So – Bad pitch there cost him, but it's all about not scoring runs, and they're going to have to get great pitching. I agree. DeGrom, I think they're going to need DeGrom if they're going to hold off the Braves because their pitching will be okay. I have some faith in Walker. I think he'll be better this year, but still, they, their pitching is going to have to be lights out if they're going to hold off the Braves. Yeah, you talk about holding off the Braves right now, that NL East lead down to just a half game.